Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, the Chicago-born chef Jose Garces is an Ecuadorian American culinary artist who focuses on recreating the rich traditions of Latin American cuisine and hospitality, but with a modern flair. As a winner of Iron Chef, he's found lots of success with several hospitable restaurants in the Philadelphia and New Jersey areas. As the author of two publications, Latin Evolution and The Latin Road Home, Jose is constantly discovering and rediscovering the essence of his ingredients. So what comes highly recommended from this successful restaurant tour? Let's learn more about the highly ambitious and appreciative Chef Jose Garces right here only on American Latino TV. Brought to you by the U.S. Army. Find out more at GoArmy.com. The chairman welcomes Chef Jose Garces. I grew up in an Ecuadorian American household. I grew up in Chicago. My parents were both uh, Ecuadorian immigrants and I uh, grew up around eating Ecuadorian food, Latin foods. And it was also a big, it was such a big part of who I became as an adult and how I, what influenced me as a chef. So those uh, early Latin American traditions that, you know, a lot of times we're, you know, I think as we're gonna talk about recipes here, really revolved around pork and how important that was to my career as well. You cook very calm. You have to, you know, this is a very, it's a very hectic thing. You know, a lot of the cuisines that I serve in the restaurants are inspired by my travels. I try to educate people on the authenticity and how important it is. So the Latin Road Home, it's a travel log, it's a memoir, it's recipes that are inspired by five Spanish-speaking countries, Cuba, Ecuador, Peru, Mexico, and Spain. My hope is that I bring you on a journey into Cuba, into one of these Spanish-speaking countries where you get, begin to explore our culture. For this dish, we went to my home country of Ecuador and used that as an inspiration. We made a watermelon ceviche with a little coconut habanero sauce. I had a goal when I finished culinary school that I wanted to open a restaurant, open my own restaurant. That was always kind of the light at the end of the tunnel for me. Uh, and when I, you know, when I got to Amada, there was, you know, a lot of, a lot of risk. And I think, you know, once we got reviewed and we started seeing our, our revenue numbers go up to <laughs> a decent place where we could pay our bills, et cetera, I think that is when I felt like, okay, like I can do this. I can make it, and, and, I, and I felt accomplished. Now looking back, now that was the first restaurant. Now we own and operate over 15, a, a full service catering company, a foundation, a farm. So I would have never imagined any of that back in 2005. Just makes your mouth water. Sweet, salty, spicy. It's unlike anything you can really describe. It's just all parts of your mouth. I think it's been, uh, it's been such a pleasure and honor for me to be able to influence everybody due to, you know, being on Iron Chef and, and having all the, the various restaurants and brands. So yeah, there's been many, uh, many younger kids that have reached out and said, hey, you know, what, how do I get inspired or, you know, what's the direction? I'm a good chef, I'm a good cook, but where, where do I go from this? And I'm always happy to provide uh, some mentors, mentorship and good messaging.